This is a photo of the Delano Grape Strike in Salinas, California. Pictured is Cesar Chavez, he became a symbol of the labor and civil rights movements of farm workers, particularly in California's agricultural industry. But do you know this man's name? This is Larry Itliong. Larry Itliong was one of the most important civil rights leaders of the 20th century and a father of the West Coast labor movement. Larry Itliong immigrated to the United States in 1929 from San Nicolas, Pangasinan, Philippines at 15 years old. He wanted to become a lawyer, but discrimination and poverty kept him from being able to receive the education he needed. So he became a farm laborer along the west coast of California. Following his service in the U.S. Army during World War II, Itliong became a U.S. citizen and in 1954 moved to Stockton's Little Manila where he organized for the Agricultural Workers Organizing Committee, AWOC. He was so good at recruiting new members that union leaders asked him to move to Delano to organize Filipino grape workers. It was there that he helped change the history of farm labor. Back in 1965, Filipino-American grape workers in Delano, California were paid $1.25 per hour and a piece rate of $0.10 cents per box of grapes packed. Larry Itliong, along with his union, demanded an increase in pay to $1.40 per hour and a piece rate increase to $0.25. Cents. This strike was known as the Delano Grape Strike. Mexican farm workers were brought in to break the strike because growers historically pitted one race against another to break field walkouts. Growers drew from the large population of Mexican and Mexican-American farm workers to replace the striking Filipino crews. Such tactics had long been an effective check on union power. Itliong knew that the strike could only be successful if it had the solidarity of Mexican farm workers. Therefore, Larry Itliong asked the National Farm Workers Association, NFWA, a majority Mexican organization led by Cesar Chavez and Dolores Huerta, to join their strike. The NFWA joined the strike on September 16. After the Delano Grape Strike of 1965, the NFWA initiated a grape boycott campaign that effectively nationalized the farm workers' struggle. The boycott was a part of a broader civil rights movement for achieving justice for farm workers and drew support from other unions, church activists, students, Latinos, and civil rights groups. Millions of people stopped eating grapes in support of the boycott which placed the farm workers' plight before the conscience of the American people. The boycott led to successful negotiations and union contracts, granting workers better pay, benefits, and protections. The NFWA and the AWOC later merged to form the United Farm Workers, UFW, in 1966, which continued to use nonviolent strikes, boycotts, marches, and fast to help farm workers stand up for their rights and gain support from ordinary Americans. With their actions including picket lines, marches, and a global boycott on table grapes, the California farm workers' movement was not simply a Mexican-American or Filipino-American movement, but both working together, and it owed its success to that fact. For their efforts in merging civil rights and labor rights for the farm workers, Itliong and Vera Cruz will now have their names joined by a hyphen and on display on two California public locations. The Alvarado Middle School was renamed the Itliong Vera Cruz Middle School in Union City, and in San Diego, an overpass on South Woodman Street crossing State Route 54 was renamed to the Itliong Vera Cruz Memorial Bridge, which is also already known as the Filipino American Highway. Thank you for listening. If you like my video, be sure to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with new videos.